This is the future. Good morning my fellow Crypsonians and welcome to my channel. What you see here is my newest edition, the Canon TS5140 printer. Let's take a look at what the box says. The Pixma TS5140 is an affordable printer, scanner and copier. The printer is wireless although you can use a USB cable and you can print from any device, laptop, desktop, smartphone or tablet. This was hilarious to me, that they had to print on the box, smartphones not included. Obviously you're buying a printer, not a phone. Just because there's a picture of a smartphone on the box, you have to print this. Come on, how gullible can people be in this time and age? Let us see what's in the box. First up, here's your manual. And in the pack you will find the manual itself, the driver CD and also a, a quick start manual. There's also this other little box and inside this box is just your power cable and your two ink cartridges. One black and one color. And then there's the printer. Let's unwrap it. It has a simple layout on the front. There's a power button, the home button, an LCD display, the navigation buttons and your options to print in black or white or in color. Starting up the printer, the setup is straightforward and with the on-screen display also shows you exactly what to do. Installing the cartridges is also straightforward and not difficult, but note that the cartridges are not the same size. They do not fit in any one of the slots you want them to fit in, so if it doesn't go in the first time, don't force them. It goes in only one way. And uh, if the manual and the on-screen display is too difficult to follow, there's QR codes everywhere. If you scan them, a self-help video will be provided for you. Unfortunately, the manual does not show you which side the black and which side the color is. So, as you guys can see, once it goes in and it doesn't fit, don't force it. Just put it next to the other one. This printer can feed its paper from two places, from the top or a cartridge that you can put in from the bottom. Once your setup is complete, you are met with this very easy menu that you can follow. You can do a wireless printing, a smartphone printing, you've got your settings, you can copy, scan and print by just using the navigation buttons. And you, once you have the app downloaded on your phone, you can even check the status of the printer on your smartphone. Okay, this is now where you put your paper for copying and scanning. And other than that, this printer is actually quite straightforward. There's nothing weird about it. I like that they provided photo paper. This is going to make it so much easier for me to print my own ID photos from now on. No more going to a place where I have to pay for it. Especially if you need ID photos for your driver's license and PDP. As of now I haven't printed a photo yet, so I don't know what the quality looks like. But I'm definitely going to try and test it in the near future. 
Now when it comes to printing, the printer does print normal paperwork very fast. When it comes to normal black and white written pages or documents, it's almost instantaneous. But when it comes to printing full color photos, be patient guys. This thing takes very long to print a full color photo. Even a black and white photo actually took me a long time. It prints very slowly when it comes to color, but I guess that's where the affordability comes in. If you want, this, if you want something that's going to print color much faster, you're going to have to take out some more cash for it. Otherwise, I'm definitely going to use this printer only in the case of emergency. If I really have to print something from the house, then I'm going to print something here. Otherwise, I'll print the, the big stuff at work. But this printer was now meant for, for now, if you need to print something now that cannot wait. This was then my first look at the Canon printer. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.